is one big spider. You see those fangs? <laughs> Ready? One. Let's see how bad this bite is. Two. Three. Oh, yeah. Spiders are some of the most feared creatures in the world. With eight legs and venomous fangs, most people run in fear when they come face to face with these unusual arthropods. But not me. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and it's my mission to uncover the natural world's strangest and deadliest secrets. As part of my research, I've been documenting the effects of spider bites on the human body and compiling them into a tier list so that we can see how all of the freakiest spiders rank up. Previously, I ranked the tarantula in A tier, below the venomous widow and recluse spiders, because while not deadly, the massive, chitinous fangs sported by these spiders are bound to produce some impressive damage. But I don't know this for certain. While exploring the hill country of northern Louisiana, I came across a perfect spider to put this hypothesis to the test, the Texas Brown Tarantula. So I think it's time to find out exactly what happens if a tarantula bites you. As you can see, they don't have any intention of biting you. We just flipped her under this rock. This is a wild tarantula, and I'm just sitting here handling her. She's walking over me. Totally, totally chill. I, I understand that with, with videos like this, it is possible where there is a big spider with giant fangs biting someone, it can send the wrong message about spiders in general. So, you know, I wanted to give this little lady a chance to kind of clear her name before you see what she's capable of. Tarantulas are one of the most docile arachnids we have here in the US. And in the Western Hemisphere, tarantulas are one of the spiders that you are least likely to be bitten by. In fact, see all those hairs on her body there? It's actually a very key defense that New World tarantulas have evolved to avoid having to even waste their venom on humans in the first place. Her abdomen there is covered with a special sort of hairs we call urticating hairs. What she'll do, if you really aggravate her, if a predator is messing with her, she can actually kick those off and they basically create this almost like a smoke screen of swirling tiny hairs that can get into predator's eyes, nose, mouth, skin. Very, very irritating. I've said on record before, if you are bitten by a tarantula, it is because you are doing something to aggravate that tarantula. Tarantula bites don't happen by accident. They're not hiding in your clothes. They're not hiding in crevices in your house. I really don't know what circumstances you'd have to be in to be bitten by a tarantula in the wild where you're not trying to get the tarantula to bite you. So that disclaimer aside, let's get her into a bit of a more controlled situation. And if you're ready, let's see what the bite of the Texas brown tarantula is actually like. Cole, do you have the shot? Yeah. Get that set up. All right, so what I'm gonna do first, you got it? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna take her out of the container. I'm, so, I'm sorry, baby. You're gonna, you're not gonna like this very much. So I'm gonna be very careful here. Oh. No, 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 you're okay. All righty. Look at that. That is one big spider. You see those fangs? <laughs> Ready? One. Let's see how bad this bite is. Two. Three. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Uh, uh. There's a thing. <laughs> Don't want to bite. If that's like case in point of how non-aggressive tarantulas are, I am like literally pressing her to my arm, trying not to squish her. I'm like nervous though, I'm ready for that, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> this spider doesn't wanna bite. The more I work with the spider, the more time I have to think about the fact that those giant fangs are about to be plunged into my arm. But I do wanna see where this spider ranks against all the other arachnids here in North America. So I gotta give it one more shot. <sighs> okay, third attempt, three. Two, one. Oh. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Ah. Honestly, did you get the shot? Yeah, I got it. Honestly, that was kind of underwhelming. <laughs> did you see how she yeah. grabbed me? Yeah, that was wild looking. Oh, it's starting to hurt now. 
going, going. Good job. Oh yeah, it's starting to hurt now. Wow. <laughs> oh, did you see how fast that was too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see my arm's starting to get tight there. Okay, so the actual initial grab, I actually didn't really feel it, but now it's starting to, starting to burn. That's the venom starting to work its way into my system. That was interesting. You could see she pinched with her chelicerae more than more than just injecting. Like I almost expected, uh, I was nervous because I was expecting like a snake, a snake bite where the fangs would go all the way in and deep inside. But she kind of just grabbed that skin and lifted it up. And I could feel those chitinous fangs just puncture in there. Oh, yeah, that was, that was, it's very sharp now quite a burning sensation almost almost more painful now than when she actually bit yeah i'm gonna keep an eye on that i'll update you on how the symptoms are going but huh initially underwhelming but now i'm quite impressed with the tarantula bite wow like hot needles the tarantula bite left my arm with a burning pain that slowly dulled over the next hour made it back to the hotel you can actually see nice big old bruising where those fangs went in and you can also kind of see the scratches from her legs gripping me when she really dug in pain is very mild it really just feels like i scratched on some thorns and that's about all i'm going to get from the tarantula bite but we'll uh we'll check back in the morning and see if there's any inflammation and there was some inflammation the first day after being bitten by the tarantula was probably the worst. The burning sensation was gone, but my arm was properly bruised. It was sore to move, tender to the touch, and noticeably swollen compared to my other arm. I just got home, and man, I'm lighting here, hold on. Can you see? That is bruised, it is swollen, I'm impressed. That is the most inflammation I think I've ever had from any bite aside from the giant centipede. In the tier list, I rank spider bites based on the pain, severity of symptoms, and recovery from the bite. At the bottom, we have spiders that are incapable of biting humans, and spiders whose bites cause little to no pain or symptoms at all. But as we move up, they get more intense. In C and B tiers, the spiders do have noticeably painful bites and localized symptoms. Based on the initial bite alone, the tarantula cannot be lower than B, but this bruising is something else. It took over a week to fully heal from the bite of the Texas brown tarantula. The soreness lasted two days, and the bite site itched, similar to a poison ivy rash, for three. In my original rankings, I had the tarantulas in low A tier. This is for considerably unpleasant bites, with the higher A tier spiders being medically significant like widows and recluses. Since none of the spiders in the US are lethal to healthy adults, none of them range into S tier, but there are definitely spiders that are far from a good time. While the tarantula didn't cause any systemic reactions, the extended recovery and heavy inflammation means that it defends its position at the bottom of A tier. And for the record, this is entirely mechanical damage. While tarantulas are venomous, they are far from the most toxic arachnids we have here in the US, and they still pack a punch. Over a week since I've been bitten, you can see I still have a little bit of discoloration there, but there is no itching, no pain anymore, probably just a little bit of scarring. So yeah. I gotta say, the tarantula bite was fairly impressive. And tarantulas aren't the only arthropods that might be in your actual backyard that have some impressive biting capabilities. You might not realize it, but assassin bugs are venomous too, and I've always wondered exactly what their venom can do to the human body. Turns out, the results are pretty gnarly, so if you want to see exactly what kind of chemical power these insects are packing, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.